Hello everyone. Thank you for taking this time to learn about the town election and thank you to Westwood Media Center for this opportunity to share my ideas and to earn your vote. I am David Atkins. I have been serving on the Westwood Planning Board for the past five years. I served on the Housing Authority for four years and I founded and chaired the Pedestrian and Bicycle Safety Committee. Now I'm running for a seat on the Westwood Select Board to improve communications, transparency, and civic engagement with residents. As a select board member, I will fight for your health, your safety, and your trust. I want to share a little bit of my background with you, explaining why I want to be a select board member. I grew up in a small town of Smithfield, Virginia. When I was a kid, I dreamed of someday attending the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, which I did, and I double majored in political science and management. While I was a student at MIT, I was so inspired by the ideas of presidential candidate Gary Hart that I took time off from school and went to New Hampshire to volunteer on his campaign. I stayed with the campaign when many deserted him because I strongly believed in his message about the power of democracy, substance, and ideas. A few years later, when I was a law student in Washington State, I organized my friends and neighbors to support Massachusetts Senator Paul Songus in his presidential bid. I championed his message for generational responsibility on the floor of the 1992 Democratic National Convention, despite pressure to fall in line behind Bill Clinton. I stayed loyal to those candidates because I believed in their values and their ability to enact needed change. I went to Washington, D.C. after law school, where I worked for the U.S. Senate Committee on Veterans Affairs during their investigation of the Gulf War Syndrome that was afflicting our veterans. While on Capitol Hill, I met my wife, Jen, who was working for the Senate Ethics Committee. From D.C., we moved to Northern California, where I helped a nonprofit wire and connect schools to the Internet in a massive community project called Net Day. We stayed in the Bay Area for a few years, but after the tragedy of 9-11, we felt the need to be closer to our families on the East Coast. We moved back to Massachusetts and started a family of our own and chose Westwood as our home. Our three children attend the Westwood schools. Shay is now a junior and Jason a freshman at Westwood High School, and our youngest, Marshall, is in the seventh grade at Thurston Middle School. My passion for civic engagement is now focused on local action, and I want to share some examples of how I've worked with our community to make a difference. I wanted Westwood to become more walkable, so I organized a walkability workshop and I formed the Pedestrian and Bicycle Safety Committee. I learned that residents wanted more complete information from the town, especially in the early days of the Westwood Station project. This led me to create a news website I called the Westwood Blog, and to my work as a founding member of the Westwood Media Center. When my mother, Betty McClure, needed to leave her home in Virginia, I found a place for her in Norwood while she waited on a list to get into Highland Glen. Experiencing these challenges of finding affordable housing firsthand, I decided to run for a seat on the Housing Authority to do something for seniors and families. When my daughter came out to us, we were grateful that she felt she could share this with us. We wanted to know how to support her. Our request for a gay-straight alliance at the middle school was initially rejected, but we came up with an idea, the Rainbow Hearts. She designed a sticker, a heart, with colors of the rainbow and a green W in the middle. We started making magnets and stickers for people to put on their cars, a way to show community support for LGBTQ youth in Westwood. Soon this led to a discussion of inclusion in our schools and through collaboration with several amazing Westwood residents, the formation of Inclusive Westwood. In fall 2018, I saw the Sunrise Movement's actions on Capitol Hill and Greta Thunberg's TED Talk on climate change. It's kind of a wake-up call. I had been talking about generational responsibility as a student back in the 1990s, and we kind of failed. Not only had we never balanced the federal budget, but we also put the future of our planet at risk. It took hearing the uncompromising idealism of youth to remind me that this was long, unfinished work. But what could we do locally about such a big issue? Actually, we could do a lot. We organized a Green New Deal town hall discussion on climate change and then formed the Charles River Green Coalition to connect activists in multiple towns on concrete local action we could take. Actions like community electricity aggregation, municipal solar power, helping people learn how to reduce their carbon footprint, 
lobbying for passage of statewide climate legislation, which passed, and building energy efficiency and clean energy considerations into new projects. And when you go to pick up a curbside composting bin, I've got a dozen in my garage. I'm the only candidate in this race who has done the hard work of civic engagement for Westwood. My instinct is to reach out to the community and connect people who want to make positive change happen. A decade of involvement in this town government as a resident, a volunteer, and an elected official means I know how things work. I've seen how they don't work, and I know how to make them better for all residents. If you elect me, you will get a select board member who commits wholeheartedly to transparency, civic engagement, and who will achieve consensus and results. I'll protect your health by preserving the open space we love, using clean energy to power our town, and protecting the environment through a commitment to implementing the sustainability and resilience measures I helped write in our comprehensive master plan. I'll improve your safety by creating pathways, trails, and sidewalks that connect our neighborhoods. I'll continue the work we started on the PED Bike Committee when we first drafted the Comprehensive Plans Transportation Section and helped the town adopt the Complete Streets Policy. And I will earn your trust by engaging you in how decisions are made that spend your tax dollars. I will ensure those dollars are spent deliberately on the priorities you want. Our school building committee did a great job engaging residents on the Hanlon Deerfield project. I support that project and the work that must be done to address the needs at the Sheehan School. As a member of the select board, I'll invite you to be an active part of the discussion before one more dollar is spent on municipal buildings or projects, including ones that I strongly support, like the Gay Street Sidewalk. My website, daveatkins.org, has more details on my ideas, and I encourage you to check it out. Whether you request a ballot by mail today, participate in early in-person voting this weekend before, or vote in person on Wednesday, April 28th, I'm asking for your vote for David Atkins for Select Board, and I thank you for your consideration.